Okay, this is learning outcome one. Understand how to target a market. This is 1.1 from the specification, the need for customer segmentation. So we're looking at a product or a service first because it's important that you understand the difference between the two. So a product is something that you can take away to use or consume and a service is something that is provided for you. So we're going to look at a couple of examples to help explain that. In a cinema, the products that you can buy are things like popcorn, drinks, sweets, chocolate, merchandise. By merchandise, we mean things like t-shirts and caps and stuff that they sometimes sell with a big film release. Services are things like ticket sale, food saving, showing of the actual film, showing you to your seats and cleaning the area afterwards. An example from a gym or leisure centre, things that are products are things like the drinks, food that you can get from the vending machine. If, you, if there's a swimming pool, you can sometimes buy goggles and a swimming cap. Sometimes they sell t-shirts with the gym's logo on. And you can also often buy things like protein powders. The service is the actual memberships that you are given. The fact that you can use the equipment and use the swimming pool. Next, we're going to look at wants versus needs. Now, a customer need is something that you need to survive, something that you can't function properly in your daily lives without. So in this example here, it could be a car. You might need a car to get to work. And you could say, oh, well, there's public transport, but sometimes people might need to travel uh, a, consider a considerable distance. And the best thing is a car for that particular thing. A want is something that you desire but don't necessarily need. Sometimes this can be combined. So for example, in this case, you might need a car, but you might desire or want a Ferrari. Now, realistically, you're probably not going to get one, but it's what you want. So now we need to look a little bit into customer needs. So what we need to take a look at is the fact that different groups of people different customers can have different needs everybody's different you might get people that are very similar and can fall into certain groups but in general people have different interests and different tastes all of these things influence what we actually buy and the services that we look for so looking at these groups of people here we've got families we've got children We've got teenagers, we've got business people, we've got senior citizens. So there's lots and lots of different groups of people out there. So when we think about our customers and what potential customers we may have, it's important to know that they are all different in some way. So why do we need to what do something that we call customer segmentation? So we need to literally break down our customers into different categories so that we can make sure that we meet their needs. That's the number one reason why we do it. So if you ever asked what's the need for customer segmentation, it's to make it easier to meet your customers' needs. So for example, if you think about the pictures that we looked at before, these different people will have different needs that they might be looking for. The young man in the top right hand corner happens to be in a wheelchair. So he's going to have completely different needs to other people. For example, the family that looks like a family of four to me with two young children, they will have completely different needs to the senior citizens in the bottom left. So when it uh, when you know exactly who your customers are, it makes it a lot easier for you to try and target their needs. So the number one thing is to make it easier to meet their needs. The other thing you need to be aware of is that customers do vary based on other things as well. And the categories that they fall under really are things like the benefits that they require. So in other words, someone might need a car, but some people will need different types of cars and they will need different benefits that they get from those cars. So you might have a family of four, the benefit that they need is a lot more space 
and ease of boot access and things like that. The amount of money that you're able or willing to pay, that can have a huge impact. So obviously, if you know what your customers are like, how much money they earn, then you know how much you could charge for your products. The quantity of goods that you require makes a difference because obviously some people might be buying lots and lots of items and other people might only be buying one. The quality makes a big difference. So if you are a businessman and you are looking for a suit, for example, you might need a real top quality suit because you're going to wear it for important meetings. The last one is the time and the location makes a huge, huge difference because a lot of people might want to buy things online and a lot of people might want to buy things in store. So you need to make sure that you know who your customers are so that you know where is best to sell your products. So the main benefits of breaking down our customers into groups are that we avoid waste. So you don't produce a lot of products that you are unable to sell and end up wasting them. You are able to meet your customers' needs. So obviously, we've just talked about that and saying that if you know who your customers are, you can meet their needs as best as possible. And finally, it makes it a lot easier to advertise the products. So if you know that you are targeting a certain group of people, you can create your advertisements to those particular people. That's the end of 1.1. If you've got any questions, you can email me at this address. Thank you for your time.